Hey, Snap Flash viewers, big news from Gabaron. Botswana is going digital in a bold way. The government has just unveiled an ambitious plan to create 100,000 tech jobs by 2030, expand broadband access nationwide, and even launch a second national satellite as part of its new development blueprint. From artificial intelligence and space technology to digital startups and cybersecurity, Botswana wants to become Southern Africa's next technology powerhouse. But how realistic is this vision, and what could it mean for young innovators across the country? Before we break it down, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a snap flash deep dive into the stories shaping Botswana's future. The country's communications and innovation minister unveiled the strategy on Friday under the Draft National Development Plan 12, which runs from 2025 to 2030. He says the government wants to grow the digital sector's share of GDP to 20%, building what he calls a fully integrated and inclusive digital ecosystem. The plan includes nationwide broadband coverage and expansion of fiber networks, a new tech startup act and national AI policy, stronger cybersecurity frameworks, and the rollout of BotSat2, Botswana's second national satellite, building on the success of BotSat1. These satellites will support sectors like agriculture, mining, health, and environmental management, giving Botswana more control over its data and research. Mr. Speaker, the e-services platform uh, project currently under implementation is geared towards pro uh, providing information and services online, securing increased accessibility, convenience, and efficiency in accessing public services, while at the same time promoting transparency and reducing costs. This project is supported by a digital infrastructure project that is ongoing and in-country uh, hosting initiatives, our true north. Mr. Speaker, the Botswana Economic Transformation Program, BETP, has defined the true north for both the financial services and digitalization as, and I quote, a fully integrated, inclusive, and secure financial digital ecosystem that enables seamless transi uh, transactions universal access to public and private services and boost Botswana's competitiveness in the region, end of quote. Four key pillars of the uh, trust framework, the smart services, financial services, innovation, and financial inclusion have been identified to facilitate the required transformation during the NDP 12. The smart services pillar falls directly under my portfolio. Uh, and my ministry is coordinating it through the online e-service project. Strategy for NDP 12. Mr. Speaker, my ministry has proposed various strategies for implementation during NDP 12. This includes the recent development, uh, developed Mahalape ICT roadmap, a blueprint that seeks to develop and implement a digital economy and science, technology, and innovation program that will drive digital economy across all sectors by 2030, attain smart government, government by delivering 80% of digitalized government services by 2030, achieve 100% universal connectivity broadband coverage by 2030, deliver manual, annual GDP, sorry, growth uh, contribution of 20% to approximately 20% uh, in local entrepreneurship and innovators will be the one meaningful contribution to this growth. And we envision to create 100,000 decent jobs uh, by 2029. Catalyze an effective research and innovation sector in Botswana by 2030. Mr. Speaker, we shall achieve these goals by improving our R&D and national system of innovation and creating a, a tech startup eco ecosystem that creates opportunities and catalyze new and trends and develop, developing a culture of 
agility and forward thinking. Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, following the development of digital services and cybersecurity bills and, and their approval by this parliament uh, in the winter session, this paved way for the establishment of governing structures relating to digitalization and cybersecurity operationalization opera, opera, and implementation mechanism, specifically opera, uh, opera, 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 operationalization of that. Okay, you are delaying, you are delaying me. These measures are intended to catalyze innovation, enhance service delivery, and expand citizen access to safe and secure effective digital services. And in line with government's vision of building a digitally empowered knowledge-based economy. Mr. Speaker, it is worth highlighting that provision of government online services has a positive linkage with the proposed national citizen e-wallets and digital ID to enable financial inclusion, innovation as well as financial inclusion. The Digital Drive also connects Botswana to global science initiatives like the Square Kilometer Array Project, the world's largest radio astronomy project, expected to boost skills in engineering, data science, and space research. Another major highlight, the Botswana Center for Nuclear Science and Technology, which will focus on research in cancer diagnostics, isotope hydrology, and industrial innovation, creating more than 3,000 jobs. Mr. Speaker, during the NDP-12, Botswana will participate in the Square Kilometer Array project. The Square Kilometer Array is the world's largest radio astronomy initiative. Botswana's radio telescope will contribute as the SKA, this is the Square Kilometer Array Technical Consortium, and serve as a national scientific asset and regional node for space science, digital innovation, and human capacity development. The SKA will position Botswana as a key global scientific discovery while driving local capacity in science engineering, digital technologies, the establishment of a national radio telescope. Honorable Lucas. Advance astronomical uh, <laughs> research and strengthen Botswana's participation in global scientific collaboration. Build national capacity in radio astronomy, physics, engineering, and data science. Support the development of knowledge economy through high-tech uh, research infrastructure. Uh, in terms of, the, of employment creation opportunities, like I've mentioned, the digital ecosystem will, will develop, we will develop in NDP 12, is envisioned to create 100,000 jobs by 2030 and increase the direct contribution of ICT sector to the GDP to approximately 20%, in which local entrepreneurs and innovators will be the one uh, making this meaningful contribution to this growth. During the NDP 12, we will undertake regular, uh, regulatory impact assessment on the communication to review how we can expand the direct contribution of this critical sector. This will include expansion of possi uh, possibility of uh, the possibility of expanding some of our foreign markets. I will skip these other ones, Mr. Speaker, in the interest of time. Uh, during the NDP 12, we will also establish what is called Botswana Center for Nuclear Science Technologies, which is con conceived as a strategic initiative to leverage nuclear science technology and national development. The core of this uh, infrastructure uh, will include several state-of-art facilities. This is the Tendom uh, Particle Accelerator Laboratory, uh, the Positron Emission tom uh, Tomography, the Isotope hydro uh, Hydrology Laboratory, the Nuclear Physics Teaching Laboratory at the University of Botswana, and Electron Beam 
irradiation facility and the radiation waste management facilities. Performance indicator, indicator framework for NDP 12. The minister admits there are challenges from high internet costs to cybersecurity threats, but says the government is determined to modernize systems and ensure no citizen is left behind. So, can Botswana's digital revolution really deliver 100,000 jobs, or will it take more than satellites and policy papers to turn vision into reality? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you stay informed with every snap flash update. With satellites in orbit, fiber in the ground, and innovation in focus, Botswana's next big leap may be digital. Whether it's AI, broadband, or startups, the goal is clear. Build a smarter, tech-driven economy by 2030. Thanks for watching Snap Flash, where we keep questioning and stay informed.